Welcome to your computer setup tutorial from the Youth Leadership Society of British Columbia and supported by the BC Technology for Learning Society. There will be timestamps in the description of this video, so feel free to come back to it if you need a refresher. Let's begin. To start, let's make sure you have all the equipment required to set up. You should have the computer, obviously, a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, two standard C13 power cables that look like this, a VGA cable, speakers, and a webcam. You also need a functioning wall outlet near where you want to use the computer. If you're too far from one, use a surge protector to extend the reach of the outlet. Now that we have everything, let's start putting it together. First, let's move the computer and monitor onto our desk. Make sure you place your computer in a safe and stable area, away from any liquids or hazards. The PC can be placed horizontally or vertically, depending on your preference. Let's start by plugging the VGA cable. This cable is used to display the screen of our computer into the monitor. First, let's plug one end of the VGA cable into the back of the computer. The port you plug it into is blue and has 15 small holes in it. There may be other ports that look like it, so ensure you have the right one. Then, slowly insert the VGA cable into the port, making sure you have it in the right orientation by noting the shape of the port and the cable. The pins inside the cable are very delicate, so try not to use excessive force. Once the VGA cable cannot be inserted anymore, gently rotate the screws on either side of the cable until it is secured in place. Now, take the other end of the cable and insert it into the monitor, following the same steps as before. Find the correct port, make sure you are inserting it into the right direction, and slowly put it in and tighten the screws. Now, let's connect the keyboard and the mouse. These devices will allow you to communicate with the computer and will also be powered through the computer. Both the mouse and computer use USB ports, which can be found on both the back end and the front end of your computer. Let's plug our devices into the back to help with cable management. Take the end of your mouse cable and insert it into the USB port. When plugging in a USB device, make sure you insert the cable in an opposite orientation to the port. Do the same with your keyboard to ensure they are both connected. You might have already noticed the small object in one of your USB ports. This is actually the Wi-Fi adapter, so don't try to remove it. If you have a webcam or speaker, you can connect them now as well. They will most likely use USB ports too, so connect them in the same fashion as the keyboard and the mouse. The speaker will also have an additional cable called a 3.5mm jack, also commonly referred to as an aux cable. This can be plugged into the back of the computer into a small circular hole. Make sure it's the audio out port, which is usually light green colored, and aims out. Once plugged in, keep the speakers near your monitor and your webcam clamped to the monitor. Finally, insert one of the power cables into the computer. The end of the cable with the holes should be inserted into a port on the back of the computer with three prongs, as shown here. Then, plug the other end of the cable into the wall outlet. Now, we do the exact same thing with the monitor, by inserting our other power cable into the back of the monitor and then plugging the other end into the outlet. Now that everything's plugged in, let's turn the computer on. If you see your monitor go to the window screen, that's one step done correctly. This wraps up the first part of our computer setup video. Visit our channel for part 2 which shows the software setup. 